Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So, today we are playing with the new Life and Death expansion pack for The Sims 4. I'm quite excited to play with this pack. The trailer made it look really in-depth, so I'm fairly optimistic about this one. As a side note, I know I sound terrible. I came back from Japan yesterday and I always get sick after a long-haul flight, so that's why I sound pretty congested at the moment. It's first thing in the morning for me right now, so hopefully as the video goes on I'll sound more and more normal. So, today we are going to be following my usual format when a new pack comes out, which is an initial gameplay video, which is where we literally just play with the pack for a couple of hours and go through the first impressions, and then probably sometime next week I'll post an actual review of this pack. So everything that I say today will be based off of my first experience playing it. I don't really want to make a review until I've put enough hours in to understand how the expansion pack works, so that's just an FYI. But, before we get into the gameplay video, you might have noticed that my thumbnail looks a bit different today. For once, it has me in it. And that's because this video was sponsored by EA. They've given me an early access copy of the game to play with, and they also arranged for me to have my makeup done. I guess to complement the overall spooky theme of this pack. So yeah, I got to go and get my makeup done by makeup artist Shania Paris. I got myself made over into Halloween themed makeup. I actually think my character might be based off of the sim I used for the Grim Reaper rewards challenge. Mainly just the hair that gives that impression. But there we go. Let's play with The Sims 4 Life and Death. Okay, here we are. So I've just started up my game. I haven't even looked at the world yet, but I see I do have it right here, Ravenwood. Things always get a little spooky in Ravenwood. The Whispering Glen with its nightly moon revelry festivities is perhaps the most normal part of the area where locals have settled down for a slice of quiet country life. Crow's Crossing Village, however, is clearly quite haunted. Swing swaying by themselves, that merchant fellow down by the crypt, scary little Edith guarding the well of longing and regret. But despite the hauntings, the living have certainly made it their home as well, with a variety of festivals and places to explore. Morning Vale is where things get extra ethereal. It's well known as a home for ghosts and those seeking them. Sometimes Grimm even stops by. All right, let's take a look. So this is the new world of Ravenwood. We have our three districts. We have our three districts, Morning Vale. I'm not gonna read all of that, that'll take too long. Too lazy. Morning Vale, Whispering Glen, and Crow's Crossing. It's always a tough decision for me to decide where to move into for my first family. I think probably up here, because I'm a big fan of these green houses. I'm guessing they're not actually green, it's just because they have the hollowed grounds lot trait. So what do we have for community lots? We have Club Eternity, which is a nightclub. We have a bar here, the final draft, and then a graveyard, Eternal Hollow. Okay, and then in terms of families, we have two ghosts living here. I'm guessing they're sisters, they look like twins. The Gomez family, the Aether family? Oh, that's interesting. That's an insight into Cass, crow costume. And then the family I'm probably most interested about, the um, Spectre family. Olive Spectre finally makes a return. She's an adult this time, and then I think this is Nervous Subject, only as a teen. So he should, as a side note, I know that we can shag the Grim Reaper again, and that Grim Reaper's children have like a special trait. So I hope this sim has that trait, because if I remember correctly, Nervous Subject is the son of the Grim Reaper, so... I'll be disappointed if he doesn't have that trait. I just wanted to quickly check. He does not! He doesn't have the... Uh, not now, Reaper Rewards. He does not have the trait of being Grim Reaper's son. He does have some memories, though. Crumple Bottom, Survive Seven Nights in a Haunted House, and First Fight. So does he just have Olive Spectre as his mother? Oh, that's a shame. That's a real missed opportunity there. Okay, anyway, anyway, getting sidetracked, let's go and make a family. So usually when I do these first impressions videos, I try and focus mainly just on the gameplay. Oh so I'm not gonna be going through every single item we have in Creator Sim. I always try and just save that for the review, which will be out at some point next week. So we're not going to see everything, okay? But I mean, we'll, we'll take a look at some pieces. We'll take a look at a few of the items just to see. This is quite nice feels kind of Halloween town. And this one? This is really pretty. I really like this. Yeah, I might make my sim wear this dress. This is nice. I'm guessing this is a swimming costume. Can't see myself ever using it, but it's great to have the option, I guess. If I ever played as Wednesday Adams. 
quite a majestic looking gown here. Yeah, these pieces are really nice. Oh, there's the crow costume that we saw earlier. I'm not really sure what this is meant to be about. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's something I'm missing. But it will come in handy if I'm ever playing as a celebrity who has to go in disguise, I guess. Okay, so those are the main, like, full costumes. Or outfits, I should say. And then a few tops. That's quite nice. Quite a gothic sort of aesthetic. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining about. This would be great for, like, a vampire going clubbing. You know? Vampire clubbing look. Oh, graphic tee. Yeah, I mean, some of these, quite an acquired taste. But, you know, that's fine. That's fine. We like variety. And then a few few bottoms as well. Okay, I'm gonna rustle up a little family. I'll probably make an elder and then a few sims who can be their children. Because there's quite a lot of, well, as you would expect, life and death <laughs> gameplay in this video. So I need to make a sim who is going to die. So I'm probably gonna do that off camera so it doesn't take too long. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I have rustled up a family. Good opportunity to have a look at some of the new creator sim items. I have my sim here, her name is Melody. She's a young adult and she's going to be the main sim that we're gonna be playing as in this video. She's going to live with her older brother, Lance. Not really much you need to know about Lance, he's a simple guy. Loves dancing and he's a romantic. So I'm sure we'll see many ladies swing by the house with him around. Our older sister, Raina, she's one of the new traits, skeptical. Not entirely trusting of the majority of things you see or hear. Skeptical sims like to challenge the universe to provide concrete proof that something is indeed as it might appear. Yeah, she's a bit mean. And they all live with their mother, Virginia, who also has one of the new traits, macabre. Embrace your inner darkness and your occasional intrusions of light. Macabre sims are all about being their best unique sim self while still reveling in all that life, and the afterlife, has to offer. And back to Melody, so we are going to give ourselves the one new aspiration that we have this pack. Ghost Historian. We want to learn everything about ghosts and use their findings to write spooky horror novels. So I believe we should have three new traits with this pack. We have the two that we saw earlier, Skeptical and Macabre. I'm going to give myself that trait as well. And then we also have Chased by Death. Chased by Death sims know that death follows their every move. While risky and dangerous behaviours may have deadly consequences, frequent near-death experiences give these sims a desire to live each day to the fullest and progress along their soul's journey faster. Keenly aware of their own mortality, these sims feel best when they are achieving something meaningful with their limited time left. So we will also have oh, that nice. trait. And I think that's it. Yeah, just the three new traits. So we'll be self-assured as well. It's good to be confident. We will be playing with ghosts later on in this, I guess, let's play. But obviously, before this pack came out, we did get a new base game update, which allows you to easily make a cult. You can just click on this little symbol now rather than having to do it this way. And also you can pick a cause of death, which if you choose that will just automatically turn your sim into a ghost. But we're not ready for that just yet. But it's pretty cool that you can make a ghost and create a sim now. So yeah, this is our family. Let's see what gameplay we have. So I think we should move into the house with the, uh, the hallowed grounds lot trait. Cozy casket house. So this is our house. In hindsight, actually, it might be a bit too small for us. It has just two bedrooms. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tiny, actually, and a coffin. <laughs> Perfect house for a vampire, I guess. Oh, this must be one of the new um, objects. A memorial display. We don't know any dead sims yet, but you can dedicate that to a, a deceased sim. I like her little icon. That's different. She just got crossed arms. She's just fine. You know, what is whatever. She's fine. Okay, I think... Oh, a new family dynamic, okay. This isn't about you growing together. I think I might just give us some money and uh, maybe move to a slightly bigger house. This one I think is a bit too small for us. What about this one? It's in a different town, Old Ravenwood Estate, but it is on hollowed grounds, so let's go take a look. Okay, this is better. This is more our kind of vibe. Massive mansion, yeah. Oh, this is quite nice, this top bit here. So how many bedrooms do we have? We have our top floor, which is a tiny little room. I guess that could be for the stuff. And then here we have, oh, another coffin room. Maybe every house has a coffin in this neighborhood. Three big size bedrooms with holes in the floor, big living room, massive kitchen. Oh, two big living rooms. Okay, this is, this is an adequate amount of space. Yeah, this will do nicely. I already have a mood buff for my trait. Tray Gothique. 
from being deliciously macabre, dabbling in dark delights rouses Melody's rapture. So I think there should be some new festivals with this pack as well, so let's take a look and see. Okay, quite a lot more going on now. So we have the Thinned Festa Vale, Gift the Guardian Tree, Grimm's Game of Chance, Tarot Reading, Dance All Night Long, and then we also have Ravenwood Family Day, Gift, gift Giving Spectres, Frog Finder Contest, Crow Discovery, Consult Inheritance Lawyer. Yeah, okay. So do I have anything new in my Simology panel? Because <laughs> we should have like a bucket list type of situation now. I think that's one of the features that came with this pack. Although I don't see anything. In fact, what I might do before we get into the full gameplay is I might just take a quick, a quick look at all of the build and buy objects just so I can familiarize myself with what new gameplay objects we have. So we'll just take a look at all of the build and buy stuff. Okay, so here is a brief look at all of the items we get with this pack. A few nice wallpapers, definitely have that gothic aesthetic, and just one new flooring, which is wooden floor. Got some windows, got some doors, I'll probably cover this a bit more thoroughly for the review. So it's just kind of looking at everything at a glance. Some chairs, beds, a new coffin, bassinet, couple swing sets, some monkey bars, fairly good selection. Just pretty much the standard stuff you would expect that we kind of get in every new pack now. One new kitchen, a bar, bathroom set, a few new rugs, some bookcases, some lighting. Not as much um, decor items as I was expecting, but there we go. The wall decor looks pretty cool though. Got a selection of new things to put on the wall, including, if you're a builder, these stickers to make buildings look a lot more worn. This is probably my favourite wall decor item. It looks like you can have all of the tarot cards here. I think there are like 40 or maybe 41 tarot cards to collect with this pack. And then we have some graveyard stuff, so loads of different new headstones, a new urn. That is a crypt, Crypt of Eternity, and then an actual plot for deceased sims. And we have what looks like some funeral stuff. So we've got four different types of memorial displays. So two of them come pre-made like this. So they have your photo and then some little decor pieces to make it look nice. And then the other two, this is a standalone picture that I put on here, but the other two are just empty. So you can add whatever you want onto them. And then we have some coffins, which I think are purely decorational. I think these are just for the funerals. A memorial wreath, a podium to give speeches, and also a memorial cannon. So we've got our funeral bits and pieces over here. And in terms of gameplay objects, it's kind of difficult to tell because I haven't played with it yet, so I'm having to just guess. So we have this photo frame, which is for a family portrait, so hopefully at some point in this video we can play about with that. We have the Dancing Raven Tarot Tent, which I'm curious as to whether there'll be like a fortune teller in there. We have the crow, which we know from the trailer is interactable. Oh yeah, you can see it's mood, hunger and perch state. And then we also have a deck of tarot cards, so you can either collect tarot cards yourself through gameplay, or you can just buy the deck in build and buy. However, I think there are some cards that are reserved just for gameplay, and I think you get some special benefit if you collect them yourself. We have a new journal here. I don't know if this is going to act like every other journal, but I think this might have new gameplay tied to it, specifically the bucket list. I think that's what we can use this for. And then we have the Mournful Melodies music box. It could just be a decor item, but the fact that its icon is open and it comes out closed makes me think there might be some gameplay associated with it. And then the Macabre Writer's Quill, which could have gameplay? Maybe for writing wills or something? I guess there's only one way to find out. But yes, that is build and buy in a nutshell. I'm sure we'll figure out more about which items are actually interactable as we play through this pack. So let's get back to my household. Okay, we are back with our active household and I just discovered that your soul's journey, your bucket list, is where your aspiration is, which makes sense, makes sense. So I do have a deck of cards here, which we can play about with. Oh, we've got this new category here, life event activities. Oh, cute. Right, let's just filter this. Life and death. We'll get the journal. Okay, here we go. Yes, bucket list. 
So we can write a goal or we can write a perfect goal, which I think is like, oh, I just got a pop up for one of the festivals. Crow's Crossing, Ce Crow's Crossing Celebration of Life is occurring near the Crow's Crossing in Ravenwood. OK, we'll head over there in a minute. So you can write a goal or a perfect goal. I think the perfect goal is like an option to have something more specific. So if I go to write goal, I'm guessing something will be randomly generated based on her sit on her traits. But then if I go to write perfect goal, I think I can influence that a bit more. I want to get busy, I want a party, I want a success. Um, let's go to success because I think we should go for a job in the, the new active Grim Reaper career. Ah. So have I, I want to share a lovely meal with my neighbours. Oh. Okay, so that's the randomly generated one. So we want to host a gold level neighbourhood potluck. Okay, all right, seems easy enough. Yep. So what's our next goal? I want success. Oh, okay, so I can even choose... I could choose my specific one. Okay, I see why it says perfect girl now. These seem a lot more aspirational, like they're going to take a lot more time. Uh, let's see. These are pretty cool. They're all based off of skills. You got horse competition, own incredibly lavish house, most glorious level of fitness. So a lot of these are just maxing out certain skills. Um, okay, let's do the money one because we're quite career focused. Oh, Melody's off to a great start in her soul's journey. With this achievement, Melody now gains extra satisfaction points. Okay. My perfect goal hasn't registered, though. Maybe let's um, write a new goal. Oh, wait. Write goal from category. So is this a randomly generated one? Let's go, I want to travel. Let's just see what happens there. Is it just going to tell me to go on vacation? Or will I get to choose again? Okay. Let's take a day trip to the creek. Spend a day in Willow Creek. Okay. All right, that's good. So I can go from having a completely randomly generated goal to setting one very specifically or just having it under a certain theme of my choice. And I notice we're inspired from living a fulfilled life. The soul's journey is going to be a long one, but Melody is in it for the long haul. Here's to the first step in the road towards true satisfaction. Okay, uh, let's draw tarot reading. Let's see what's on, on our cards for the future. And then we'll head to that festival that's going on. What do we have? Bright future? The Emperor reversed. Power has gone to your head, and your mind might be as rigid as a barnacle hull. You might be sailing towards a fate only black sail raven's car would fancy. But fear not, there's still be time to shift the tides astern. Being mean or bragging about possessions is desired. Okay. Oh dear. That wasn't that didn't seem like a very good card. Right, let's travel to the festival, shall we? Let's head to the cemetery and see what's going on. Here we are. Eternal Hollow. So this is the cemetery. Got some... Does, does anyone already rest here? No, I think they're all empty, aren't they? So we have this building. Okay, so this is where the funerals are held then, clearly. Okay. And then we have a couple of crypts, which I think we can explore. Oh, and join the Undertaker career, but that's, um, that's not a live career, I don't think. That's just a standard rabbit hole career. Got some gravestones here. Is anyone actually buried here? No. Okay, well, we'll probably go and explore some of the crypts, but before that, let's go check out this festival. So this must be, like, the town square. We can see some spectres. I believe they do swing themselves on the swings as well. Just lounging around. Look at this one. Goofy. Yeah, we like a laugh. So I guess this little corner here isn't always here. We've got food served. Everyone's dressed as crows. Will this be our opportunity to have our first interaction with the crow, perhaps? I don't think so. I don't see one. Having a little dance. Great dance moves. Absolutely star of the show. Do we have a new radio station? Listen to Spooky. But did Spooky come with the um, the Halloween pack? I feel like we might have had Spooky already. I mean, there isn't really too much to do here. It's nice to have everyone gathering, but maybe this is the only time Spectres are around? I don't think so, though. I think it said in the description that Spectres always just hung around here. So I guess this is this festival, but... Doesn't really seem like much is going on. Maybe I'll give them a minute to like liven up a little bit. So let's go and explore, go and explore the underground crypts while I take a little look at the area. Looks quite European. Oh, what's this? A statue? Statue of a, a goat? View Moppy the goat statue. So we have the town hall over here, which we can start a will, read billboards, read ancient archives, focus the camera on or use amenities. I've also noticed I've got a new option under funeral. I guess I guess my game thinks there's a funeral going on? Maybe because of the event? Because there's like a memorial stand there? I don't know. Melody enters the crypt. A labyrinth of forgotten corridors and ancestral 
and ancestral vaults lie ahead. Oh, we dare. We dare to enter. Oh, I like this. We've got the Grim Reaper and stained glass windows. Nice touch. Pretty. The woods in the background. I mean, it's all set dressing, but still pretty. Where's this sim walking to? Over the bridge. Where are you going? What's over here? Bit of a bit of a maze, this place. And then this is, okay, that's a household lot. Hissing in the dark. Melody walks steadily through the dimly lit corridors. An occasional extra footstep and light hissing sound echo through the halls around her. Keep exploring, girl. Keep going. Put your big girl pants on. And then over here we have, okay, another residential lot. And this is Explore Golden Oldie's Vacant House. So this is uh, another rabbit hole, I guess. And then what's this? Another vacant house. Okay, so I'm guessing they're like, who goes there? Uh, th the sound effects are pretty good. They're spooky. Melody takes a turn and comes upon a dead end. Upon turning around, two yellow glowing eyes peer out from the darkness. The unknown creature walks forward with a low sounding hiss. It reaches its bony hand towards Melody. Should we run or pet? I don't have any food to offer. Um, fuck it. What's it going to do? Kill me? Pet it. Pet the thing. This is where we die. And then over here we have little pond. Ah, okay. So this is our home neighbourhood then. Oh, close call. The creature is not amused. If anything, they seem to be more angry. The hissing increases in volume, echoing through the halls. Melody covers her ears as the grating noise becomes louder. Starting to shake, Melody does the only thing she can think of in a moment like this. Point behind the creature and run the other way. And then we have a fountain here, which looks like it's not interactable. Okay, so basically, in this district, we have a few residential lots. We've got the graveyard and the crypt. This little town centre area with a festival, which, in all honesty, doesn't look like there's too much going on, really. I guess it's nice to have sims gather around here, because I imagine this is the kind of spot where, outside of festivals, you're not going to see anyone walking around. You have a statue you can look at. Oh! Play a little tune. Melody comes across what looks like some sort of musical puzzle. Perplexed, Melody deduces that she will need to play the correct sequence of notes on a dusty old piano that has taken up residence in the crypt. Investigating further, Melody spies some sheet music which she would like to make the puzzle which would likely make this puzzle a breeze for anyone skilled in music. Oh no! We don't have enough musical skills, so we're just gonna have to uh improvise. Quite a few rabbit holes in this area though. So we've got the town hall, we've got the crypt, and then we've got the two haunted, well I say haunted, abandoned houses I guess. Sounds like treble. Melody hits a few notes making a terrible sound, causing the cover of the piano to violently snap shut. A trap door appears underneath her, resulting in a short fall into a dusty room below. Once back on her feet, a light to the outside world can be seen. Maybe it's time for Melody to cut her losses and head home. Yeah, okay, maybe we'll come back when we have more, uh, more skills. Well, that was an adventure. Let's come over here. Did anybody else feel that from exploring the crypt? It's cold as death in here. Melody hates the sun with the fury of, well, a thousand suns. My heart can't take this rejection. Making friends is tough. Melody has learned the hard way that not every creature is ready to be befriended. Maybe next time. Aldi's vacant house must be infested by a ghost in first. Okay, so we have the option to cleanse a ghostly infestation. Kind of feels like, I don't know, seems a bit overlappy with the paranormal pack. I guess that's one way of doing it without being hands-on. Um, but let's go and explore the, old, the golden Aldi's vacant house. I mean, I'm in this neighbourhood, I may as well see what all of it, see what it has to offer. Oh, maybe I have to wait for them to get haunted. Same old house. Well, that was a letdown. Melody wandered through the golden oldies, but the spookiness didn't quite live up to the hype. The cobwebs and creaky floors were more tedious than terrifying, leaving her feeling underwhelmed. Seems the old houses have lost their edge. Maybe next time she'll find something a bit more exciting. Okay, we'll give it a while then, before we check that next time. Let's find ourselves a job. And then, I mean, we're getting on for the evening. I think we deserve a drink, Melody. So we will. Oh, here we go. The Reaper career. The time is nigh to don a robe and become a Reaper. As Grimm's employee, you'll be able to climb his triangular ladder and gain rewards like discussing deathly business and owning a timeless hourglass. Scry your way to the top and earn being Grimm's right hand while unlocking a truly Grimm-worthy outfit as you spread death's touch wherever you go. Okay, yes. I am the woman for the job. Right, well, I think I've seen all there is to see over here. Let's move on. Let's go and find the bar, which I believe is the next neighbourhood up. Yes, over here in Whispering Glen. Let's go take a look. And you know what? We'll take the family with us. Why not? Let's go have a drink, guys. Okay, 
So this is the bar. And it looks like we've got some ruins behind it. Oh, and it looks like it doubles up. A bar and funeral location. Okay, no one seems to be working, which isn't ideal. Haven't met any locals yet. Do I have any new social interactions, I wonder? I can spread the gloom. Oh, I can offer tarot reading. Let's offer tarot reading to Mum. She's probably not got long left. I should probably give her a heads up about that. And remind her of all the times we did our homework without her asking. I can make a morbid observation. So we're both. The one's tarot card was drawn. Oh, you're not going to tell me anything about that? Huh, okay. I guess I only get a pop-up if it's my card. Discuss near-death experiences. Well, I've got fuck all to say about that because we've barely lived. But we can ask about tarot. There's a new interest. Interaction. So what do we have around this neighbourhood then? We've got some ruins behind us, but I don't think they're interactable. Little lake that we cannot swim in. Can we fish in it? Yeah, okay, we can fish in the lake. Can look for some frogs. I believe here, other than the bar, it's just residential lots. Oh, that's just where I put all of the build and buy stuff. And then there should be... Yeah, there's the other residential lot. And then these are a few houses that are just kind of set dressing, I guess. We can swim in this lake, though. This glistening lake. Some more ruins over here. Oh, what's this? What is this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. What's this? I was about to say I'm glad I didn't move here because there doesn't seem to be anything going on. But now I'm intrigued. And it looks like there's another crypt up here. Yeah, another crypt to explore. And I think that's about it. What do we think, Melody? What could it be? Oh, the Order of Lenore. Formed long ago, the society remains bound under the sacred mission to reunite what once was whole. Lady Raven Dancer Goth's tarot deck. Lost to the winds and scattered by crows, these fragments lay hidden amongst the realm. Guided by ancient whispers, members have sought to protect these cards before their final cover convergence can be made. Acting as a vessel for favours, performing society members' tasks to receive a piece of the puzzle, go to Ravenwood Festivals and find the helpers, the Order of Lenore, to learn about the tasks. This is just the beginning. Across Ravenwood, one may use their intuition and exploration to complete the Order's efforts and locate the lost tarot cards. Okay, so this is how we find the tarot cards, I guess. So all of my neighbours are basically going to play some kind of role here. I did know that Nyon Spectre had a um, little quest that you could do, but I didn't realise it was for multiple sims. Okay, good to know, good to know. The High Spellcaster. Is that a card that I've just got? Can I, like, can I see my tarot card collection somewhere? Okay, yes, here it is in my inventory. So I did manage to get a tarot card there. Cool, cool. Okay, well, it's 10 o'clock. Um... I'm done with the bar now. I didn't even get a drink. I think let's go to the nightclub. Club Eternity. Maybe we'll spot some ghosties. Mum can come along for the ride. She doesn't have long left. She may as well have a little bit of a dance while she's still around. Bless her. Oh, spotted. Green ghost. Friendly introduction. Okay, so this place definitely seems a lot spookier. So this is the nightclub. Doesn't seem to be much going on, but I like these. These VIP booths. Yeah. The server is even a ghost. So this is obviously a ghost hotspot. Oh, this is cool, this neighbourhood. What's this? It's a bell tower. Okay. All right. I'm interested. I'm listening. Fish for souls. We have a new fishing option, fish for souls. I think this is like the... I think this is like the rebirth lake, I believe. It's called the bog of something. Yeah, I know. I really did my research here. Oh, I might have to try fishing for some souls. But first thing, first order of business... Order a drink for the group. Maybe we've got a new drink, who knows? Anything new? Oh, no, I don't think so. All right, just a few ridge ports then, please. Oh, I wonder if this is where the wishing well is. The wishing well of longing and regret, I think it's called. There's a tree here. View the guardian tree. Use intuition. She seems ominous. Weeping mother, Alice. You okay? You all right there? Yeah? Okay. Maybe that's her job. She just sits by the tree and weeps. What do we have further down? Oh, we're back to the club. Okay, I see, I see. I'm just taking a look around just to see if there's any, like, I don't know, you know, just looking at all the nooks and crannies to find out if there's anything worth seeing around here. Oh, is this another one of those? Okay, so I might, I might be able to get another tarot card there. Oh, and a crow. Okay, okay. I'm not seeing the wishing well anywhere, though. Maybe I'm just being blind. Ah, oh, I'm sure we'll find it. I'm sure we'll find it somewhere along the line. Oh, was this one of the... Was this one of the sims that had a little task for me? Should we change the colour of her? Should we make her pink? Yeah, that's nice. Look at you. You're welcome. Ask ghost for help. Oh, okay. 
that wasn't anything too in depth. I don't really have any other interactions though. Was she the one that I had to... Maybe she's not the one who needs help. Right, come on Melody, get your drink down you. Let's go. Right, I want to go talk to the crow. So Lance, I know you're a ladies man, so why don't you come introduce yourself to all the ladies here in the club. I'm gonna come introduce myself to this little fella. Grim Deluxe Ascendant Crow. I feel like it's probably about as engaging as uh, interacting with like the birds or the rabbits. Although I think it can attack you if you're mean to it. So maybe we'll try being mean. <laughs> and hopefully we don't die from that. Oh, is that a, um, it's a ghost cow plant. Oh, I got a tarot card from playing with the crow. The world. Should we, um, pet the cow plant and hopefully not get eaten by it? We just whisper into the crow, just sharing some secrets. Percival the patient, an undead cow plant. He seems pretty chill. Seems pretty chill. Oh, look at this now. Have an out of body experience, rebirth. Okay, I'm gonna save that for after I've played with the pack a bit more because I'm not really too sure what's going to happen. What do we have down here? Anything? Oh, this is where that ghost mother was. Okay, let's go and listen to whispers. Summon Alice? Oh yeah, yeah, that was her. That was the weeping mother. And we'll also use intuition. Is that, is that Alice? No, just a random. It kind of looks like there's an entrance. Can I, can I explore it? Oh, there she is. There's, there's sad Alice. Friendly intro. No, funny. She seems like she's grieving something, so she could do with a laugh. We found the star from exploring the, uh, the tree. So I guess that's, was that from using our intuition? I think it was. Why are you running all the way down there to interact with Alice? Why are you doing that? Stop. Stop. Oh, the wishing well is in Crow's Crossing. Okay. Why are you going back to the club? What is wrong? Don't make no damn sense. Why are you going all the way to the club? Although I suppose we have brought the grieving ghost to the pub, which she might be grateful of. Maybe, maybe my sim is a genius and thought, you know what? I can't handle this sadness on my own. I gotta take her to the bar. Should we give her a tarot reading? I'm sure she'll appreciate that. You can see the tears dripping from her face, bless her. Oh, Ravenwood rumours. Ask about Alice's sorrow. Okay, so there's obviously some kind of, some story going on here with Alice. Why so sad, Alice? What's Lance doing? Is he still on the pull? Yeah, unsuccessful though. Bless him. What's up, duck? Tell Melody, what's the problem? Did you lose your dildo or something? Maybe she's the mother of the little girl that haunts the, uh, the wishing well. As sand rained down in my final resting bed and I clenched the red flowers in my hands, all I could think of were my children. What happened to them? I don't know where they are. I can feel their locations, their essence. Please, I must know what became of them. Oh, Alice. Oh, I've I unlocked a little quest here. So she has a child called, is that Deimos? Find Deimos, he rests where many others rest, in the darkness underground. Find Deimos by exploring the crypt. Oh, okay, maybe she's got like a demon child. Demon child who lives in the crypt. Don't worry, weeping mother, don't worry, Alice, okay? I will find your exorcist baby, just bear with. I just gotta take a shit. And then, second on the list, find your demon child. Find your demon spawn. There is a crypt near here that we haven't been to yet. Uh, oh, I may have lost my, my bearings. Where was it? It wasn't far, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Explore the underground crypts. Oh, I could use my intuition in this glistening water. I'm not ready to be rebirthed yet, but if I use my intuition, I might get a card. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, we dare, we dare to enter. This isn't our first rodeo. This is our second crypt, actually. Not bragging, but it is. Oh, Alice's sorrow. Melody comes across an ancient and forgotten sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. A name can be read in the stone tablet next to it. Deimos. This must be it. This is one of Alice's children. Read the stone tablet. The words in the tablet read, Deimos, son of Alice, skeptical genius and macabre. Lived a full life and passed away as an elder from death by cowplant. His, his very last words as he accepted his fate of getting swallowed was sentenced. Okay. Right. We found Deimos. Uh, oh, but that's not enough. How many fucking kids has Alice got? We have to find Freddy now. So where's he going to be? Find Freddy the Spectre by the playground in the centre of Crow's Co Crossing. Okay. All right, fine. Right, are we using our intuition? Are we finding a card? What you seek cannot be found. It takes time to develop a strong intuition. Ah, oh, okay, fine. We could uh, ring the bell in the bell tower. I mean, in terms of like, what do we have here? Is this like another town hall or something? 
it doesn't say, but you can kind of do the same things you could before, use amenities, start a will. Yeah, so I think, again, we just have residential lots and a nightclub, and then a few little things scattered around, but... Oh, I can hear the bell ringing already. There we are. That's our handiwork there, waking everyone up at 9 a.m. Oh, someone's getting hungry. Death calls and it's time for Melody to head to work. Okay, let's go. First day of work. Hopefully we don't fuck this up. The Netherworld Department of Death. Welcome to the Grim Branch. Here you'll learn the ropes of reaping and attend Grim's very own training session. Make your way to the scry bowl to receive your assignment and then feel free to prep for the reap by completing tasks such as research assignment, practice reaping, perform scythe, scythe? scythe maintenance before travelling. As an employee, you'll want to hit your soul's quota, which you and your netherline contribute to with each reap. Okay, alright. I intend on being pretty liberal with my uh, need cheats, just FYI, because um, I want to explore all that I can about this pack, so don't have time to be worrying about needs. So these are my co-workers. Is that Grim? Oh, there he is. I can practice reaping on this dummy doll. Oh, look at you in your robes. You look amazing. Where are we? Oh, we're in the netherworld. Ah. Oh. So we have up here, we've got this chest here. Collect rewards. You need to hit your souls quota to collect a reward. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Right, well, I guess I better scry for assignments then. I can order office supplies, analyse death trends. Oh, I want to I wanna analyse the death trends. What's killing people? I can read some theories. Unknown horse, the death of Robert Crumplebottom, fallen trees. Stats say that death by killer rabbit is not trending as high as it could be. This gives Melody an idea. What if Grimm could start a petting zoo featuring these fluffy little monsters? <laughs> this idea could certainly increase the stats, but how could we promote this endeavour? Surely we would need to warn Sims of potential danger. Nah, advertise as a fluffy pet. Fuck it, we don't have morals. Oh, Grimm is impressed by Melody's initiative. Ah, oh, thank you, Grimm. Right, so where's the, uh, is this it? Scry for assignment, there we go. We might get our first job. Oh, this is a nice touch, Grim Reaper gnome. Okay, what do we have? What's on the cards for us today? Okay, we have an assignment. We need to practice reaping again. Okay, I need to use the bookshelf. Research assignment, there we go. I can also look up historical deaths. And then we'll practice reaping, and then I guess we'll just head to the job. Yeah, we'll practice reaping, and then we will travel. Travel to the job location. Would you like to travel to the assignment? Yes. Yes, I would. You've arrived at Reaper training. Here you'll find Kenny, our undead all-round good dude. Kenny is unfortunately dead at the moment, but don't be alarmed. It doesn't hurt. Head over to his crumpled little body to survey the scene. You'll want to investigate cause of death, determine cause of death before you start swinging your... Sc okay, right, right, right. Okay, so... I guess that's in order to do his uh, death certificate, right? Investigate cause of death. Uh, check pockets. Check pockets. He might have a credit card in there. He's got no need for it now, does he? Maybe there's a wedding ring that we could pawn off. Because we care about our clients and uh, we want to know more about their life. Oh, I've just had it. Is this a phone call? Hello from the other side. I, I'm reading that as Adele is singing it. You don't know me, so this might sound weird, but you're going to inherit from me, kid. Why, you might ask? Let's just say it's better for both of us if you don't ask questions. The money needs to go somewhere and quick, and I heard through the grapevine you were a good, upstanding sim, so you're about to inherit a chunk of my hard-earned simoleons. Listen, buddy, part of life is planning for your death. You should write up a will when you're ready to choose someone... to choose who's going to inherit your simoleons, your heirlooms, and your kids. I did mine on the computer. Okay, fine. All right, thank you. 4,000 simoleons. Nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, check his pockets. Um, I guess we should check for rigor mortis. Find out how long he's been dead. Uh, position of the body. Is there really a need to check pulse if I know he's dead? Melody's investigation is going poorly, stealing her further away from the truth. Yeah, but I might have got a couple of simoleons out of it. Okay, we're making small steps towards the cause of death. Okay, good, good. I feel like a doctor. Yeah, I keep getting small steps towards, so I guess I'm, I haven't done enough. What more do you want for the cause of death? Okay, great forensics. Melody has investigated. Determined cause of death is now available for her to prescribe. Okay, determined cause of death. Wait, are you going to tell me? I want to know. Tell me, what was the cause of death? Based on your prep work, you may be able to try a specialised reap or feel free to stick with a tried and true. Your choice. Oh, it was death by hunger. Okay. 
I can either do it lazily. No, enthusiasm. It's our first day on the job. She already queued up to go swimming. Nice slice. Kenny's soul has now been placed in your inventory. Before you leave, you're welcome to request a reaping review from the remains of the deceased. Okay, right, I will then. I will. Give me a review. How was my reaping? Felt good about the level of service despite the circumstances. <laughs> That's quite funny. So I have Kenny's soul now. Oh, okay. Well, I guess let's uh, get back to the office. Oh, we... Hey, boss. How's it going? Spread the gloom. So what should I do with Kenny's soul? Use the netherworld portal to release a soul from your inventory. Okay. Kenny, get ready. You're gonna be free. I also need to... Oh, Grim's gone. We will set him free to go and get on, get on with his unfinished business, I guess. There's his soul. Bye-bye, Kenny. Safe travels. Okay, now for the boring paperwork. I've got to fill out this death certificate. File death certificate, there we go. And then plan reaping schedules. I think I can do that on the tablet, can't I? Yeah, here's the tablet. Plan reaping schedules, there we go. God, we are smashing this day, absolutely smashing it. Who knew we would be such a natural reaper? Okay, we have the thanatology skill. I'm just checking in on my um, aspiration. I don't think I've even started to build this one. So if I get the chance, though I might be building it as I'm doing this. Yeah, okay, so this career is helping me. And then I will perform some maintenance once I've set my reaping schedule. Not now, Valentina, I don't want to be on a dating show. And of course, order office supplies. Okay, we are at gold already. So I might just take this time to do a little bit of research then and, and work on my skill. May as well. Already we're at excellent performance, that's right. Damn straight we are. Melody performed impeccably. Paperwork filed with that kind of gusto is worthy of a grimly praise. Ah, oh, thanks. Okay, we are back. So I am going to take this opportunity to read some more theories, build up my skill a little bit. And then for Virginia, who is the mother, who is sadly not long for this world, I should probably maybe do a little bit of work with her. So I'm going to set some heirlooms, particularly this grandfather clock that is very important to us. We'll make that an heirloom. Uh, the Cornelia head heirloom. Can you even make the piano an heirloom? What about the fridge? No. But I think most things you can turn into an heirloom, even the sofa. So that's pretty cool. So we'll make some heirlooms and then we will start a will. Oh, did we just reach level two? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So now we can just, well, practice. We'll write obituaries. There we go. We'll practice writing. May as well make a start on this aspiration. We're definitely not going to complete it in this video. But to be honest, there's, I, I feel like there's quite a lot of gameplay in this pack, which is good. You would expect that for an expansion pack, but I don't think I'm going to be able to cover all of it in one video which is fine by me. Afterlife Anonymous is starting now. <laughs> That's really funny. They meet every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and choose, oh, like every day then, at the Morningville neighborhood near the ruins. Oh, bless them. Um, isn't this where I can find Freddy as well? I'm pretty sure Freddy's gonna be, he's gonna be one of these, isn't he? Hanging by the park. Chat with Spectre. Let's just come and chat with some Spectres and see if we can find Freddy. How's mum getting on? She's still at the town hall. Oh, she's just making her way there. That's right, you set your will. Remember who was there for you, your youngest and favourite child. Virginia has created a will. Okay, right. Virginia, what have you decided? Let me see. Read will. Let's find out what you've started with. Who gets what? The following actions will take effect when Virginia dies. Nothing. Okay, so I guess we have to update it ourselves. Um, oh, I can leave a personal note. Write a personal note. Okay, there we go. So we have a little message for the family to read. Update will. Um, sim remains. What's this about then? So I can choose. Oh, that's that's pretty cool actually. We can choose. I like that mermaid one. That's pretty cool. We're not a mermaid, but fuck it. I do what I want. Funeral activities. Oh, so this is where... Oh, this is quite cool actually. This is where your sim can kind of pass on what they want to happen at their funeral. I like that. I like that a lot. Moment of silence, mourn deceased, give eulogy. There we go, keep, keep, make, keep it standard. Um, simoleons, well, we've got, we'll give 40% to charity, and then the rest, I guess, can be divvied up between the kids. Because they're in the same household, it's hard to kind of, I think the only way you can give them 
money as if you move them out of the household because it's technically all of their funds, isn't it? But we have three heirlooms and three children. So the bust can go to Raina. The piano can go to Lance. Oh, I have to do each one separately. Okay, fine, fine. And then the grandfather clock can go to Melody. Okay, well, there is our will sorted. So we are ready for death. Melody, how are you getting on? Did you make it to the park? Yeah? Okay, we need to talk to some of these spectres. We need to see if we can find, what's his name? Freddy. Oh, there's Freddy. Okay, um, Fre Freddy is busy right now. No, he's fucking not. He's wearing a little bow tie. Oh, ask about Alice's sorrow. What do you know, Freddy? Tell me. Alice, she was my mother. I remember her face as much as I remember my sim nature, which is to say not much at all. There's one thing I do remember, though, her unconditional love. Oh, Freddy doesn't even remember. Doesn't even remember his mother. Okay, so now we have to find Anne. Find Anne's graves gravestone on a small island in the river running through the Whispering Glen neighborhood. Let's go to Whispering Glen and then we'll find Here it is. Okay. We'll go to the we'll go to the bar. I just sort of feel like I've already started this quest for Alice. I may as well follow through. Tell her what's been going on with her kids. Right. Let's see. Where's this little island? This is the river, I'm assuming. Oh wait, is that her? View gemologist statue. This isn't this isn't an island though, is it? I don't know if that's gonna be her. And also it's not a gravestone, it's a statue. And I'm pretty sure that's a bloke under that cloak, so uh Am I in the right place? Have I gone have I gone to the wrong place? Oh wait, over here! Okay, yes, go here. Here is Anne's grave. Oh bless her. Maybe I could bring her back. Probably not. Are we gonna swim across the lake, are we? Yes, but not before, not before walking most of the way. Here she is, his little Anne, look. Whatever happened to her? Beloved mother and wife, Anne dedicated her life to the education of children and she inspired so many. She was the one sim everyone agreed on. Ah, find Edith. Jesus Christ, how many kids? Find Edith by the well of longing and regret in the crow's crossing. Okay, that's good, because I was looking for that well anyway. So it's going to be over here. Okay, let's go to Eternal Hollow and hopefully we find Edith. So I just have to find the well of longing and regret. Where could that be? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I wonder if Edith is the scary child. Who, who's this? Edith! The child. The angry child. I have an option. Nope. I guess we'll attempt to communicate. I don't think it'll go down well. Uh... I think she might be a bitch about it. I'll also use some intuition on the well. I'll use my intuition first and get myself a card. Then I'll attempt to communicate. You okay? You all right? Looks pissed off, doesn't she? Evil child. Right, use your intuition, find a card. Oh, evil, see? Of course the evil child was guarding the evil card. Whose grave is this? I don't know, but I'm gonna use my intuition. Hello. You seem like someone who has mummy issues. She's not a fan, she doesn't like me. All right, all right, chill out, chill out, don't need to be screaming. That shriek sends shivers down Melody's spine. Edith is definitely not ready to talk. She should keep trying though, especially for the mark of Edith and a chance, okay, fine, fine, I'll try again, attempt to communicate. Right, you little spoiled brat, be nice, be nice. Oh, we found the card of suspension. We're doing well with our cards, we've got five already. Be nice. Oh, thumbs up. She likes me now. I guess she just liked the persistence. Edith appears to be open to further conversation. Okay, ask about Alice's sorrow. Ask about the well of longing and regret. I mean, sure, as I'm here, I may as well, I guess. Oh, she's getting upset when I... Mother, she is, the re she is not the reason I died, no, but I drowned here. And I'm now bound to this accursed well forever. Oh, Edith. Oh. One Samoan for a wish, a dream or a nightmare, but gain my trust. Ask for my mark and the best dream you will have. Well, hold up then. Hold up. I want your trust. Cheer up. Cheer up, buttercup. All we have to do is become friends. Hey, Edith, you can come to my you can come to my potluck if you like. There might be mac and cheese. Kids love mac and cheese, don't they? Edith's profile. She just looks like a horror movie child, doesn't she? Oh no, she's just hurt. She's just hurt. Try and chat. She doesn't seem to be like that open to communication though. Oh, we became good friends. 
Okay, give me the mark, please. Give me the mark. I deserve it. I spent all this time being nice to you. And you haven't been that nice back. So, okay, I think we're friends. Also, Melody made a positive impression on Edith. She better make a wish. Okay, all right, yeah, right. Wish for um, skill gains. That's what I would like, skill gains. Can I make more than one wish? Can I also wish for riches? I've got this glow around me now, which means I'm destined for good luck. Thanks a lot, Edith. Appreciate that. Level four of the painting skill. Well, that's fucking useless. That's, I didn't want the painting skill. Oh, waste of time. Waste of time. Okay, well now we have to return to Alice. I can't even remember where the fuck Alice was. I think she was in the dark neighborhood. Morning Veil, vale, that's it. I'm pretty sure she's in Morning Veil. Vale. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, we'll just teleport over here. And then, is that, is that Alice? Alice, you need to venture out more. Report findings. Your, your kids are, they're all local, Alice. Maybe she's like tied to the tree or something. She can't leave the tree. A weight has been lifted. I no longer wallow in the ocean of sorrow, unshackled from these chains that kept me down. Thank you. Thank you for finding my children. My guardian tree now opens to you. Cheers, Alice. All right, so what do I get to do now? Um, scavenge? Yeah, scavenge. And then also refill needs. Thank you, Alice. And that seems to have turned her on as well. <laughs> See, this is the true key to a woman's heart. You just run errands for them. Make life easier. Check your inventory, kiddo. Hope you found what you're looking for. What did I get? Oh, okay, I got some, I got some fruits. Very nice, thanks very much. Right, we will fulfill our needs because we, we've got work today. And let's head home. So, I feel like I have barely scratched the surface of this expansion pack and yet this video feels like it's getting on the long side. I don't really want this to be longer than an hour. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably film this in a few parts, maybe two or three parts. Because I know once you become a ghost, there's like a whole skill tree or like a pro progression tree like you get with all of the um, all of the occults. And we want to experience rebirth. We've only just began our journey with Grim Reaper. So I think we'll just we'll just focus on a few things for this video. Because like I say, I, I want to explore all of it. Um, let's just come and practice writing. So yeah, we'll do it in a few parts. I'm going to get my writing level two, just so I can complete the first page of my aspiration. And then at some point today, I'm gonna to introduce myself to my neighbors. I'm gonna try and complete one of these bucket list goals to see if that progresses me any further. Oh, I've made some progress actually, look at that. I haven't done any of my, um, my goals yet, but maybe we'll get another boost once we host a gold potluck. Oh, I notice I have an option here to attend grief counseling under home. Oh, also, while I'm here, I may as well check out this, um, what, what does it actually do, this hollowed grounds trait? This lot adds an exciting punch of terror to the otherwise daily mundane. Be it possessed TVs, netherworld treasures, or lowered bills, living or dead, there's something here for everybody. Okay, well, hopefully we feel the effects of that throughout these videos. Okay, milestone Zoyful. complete. We finished the first page of our aspiration. <laughs> Melody's soul shines brighter and feels more fulfilled. Okay, so I guess that was from completing the first step of our aspiration. Cool, cool. Right, I am going to head out before work. I wanna try and introduce myself to a few neighbors so I have some people to invite over to potluck. So let's start with the Spectre family. Knock, knock. Okay, who's home? Anyone? Doesn't look like it. Where is everyone? Oh, here's someone. Um. Inquire about local hauntings, okay. Oh, it's test subject. Okay, friendly introduction, and then I'll also introduce myself to you, Lane. I wonder if I have to take, if I just travel to Willow Creek, or if I have to spend the whole day there. Maybe I'll just quickly travel there just to see if it ticks it off. Just, just out of curiosity, eh? Well, I asked about the, um, the hauntings, but I didn't get any information back, so maybe they don't really have much to say. All right, fine, fine. We move on. I'm just going to, um, I'm just gonna pop to Willow Creek. I'll go and meet the goth family. Just, just to see if it will count that as one of my goals or if I have to spend like six hours there or something. I don't know, but we'll find out. Yes, Introduce sir. myself to <laughs> Bella. Oh, okay, inquire about local haunting seems to be an interaction I can give everybody. Well, at least I've met Bella and Alex, so that's two new people I can invite to my potluck. 
Bella is apparently pretty wealthy. I don't know what it is about Melody, but every time I get her to introduce herself, she just asks people how much money they have. Okay, I will introduce myself to Mortimer. Okay, I don't think this is going to tick off unless I spend like an entire day here, which is fine. It was fine. I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna head home. We've got to go to work soon anyway, so I'm not gonna be able to tick that off right now, but it's fine. We will eventually complete everything from our bucket list. Okay, time for another day at the old grind. We might even get a promotion today. Emergency. There's an afterlife emergency. The, the netherworld portal has malfunctioned, causing things from the other side to spill over into the world. Grim really needs your help to get things back in order. Hazard pay not included. Uh, okay, fine. Um, how do I repair it though? Oh, I have to repair the scry bowl. The scry bowl. Okay, I'll repair it. Don't worry, guys. Melody's here to save the day. Okay, we have fixed it. We need to recalibrate the tablet. Uh, okay, I will do that. Now, where's this mischievous ghost? Is it you? No, that's just a co-worker. Oh, close netherworld fisher. Okay, yes, yes. Now, where's this mischievous ghost? Oh, expel ghost. Get out of it. Right, you. Fuck off. Isn't that the sim that... I feel like that's the sim that gave me all that money. Okay, we'll just close some of these. Any more? Any more glitches in the matrix? Okay, we'll plan the reaping schedules and then I think we can finally come and fix this portal. Yes. Don't worry guys, it's all in hand, it's all in hand. Might even be able to finish early today. Although I would quite like, I would quite like a promotion, so maybe it's not a good idea to finish early. Right, I am at gold. I don't really have too much else to do and I don't really want to miss out on, um, getting a promotion, so I'm just going to use this time to practice writing and I guess make a start on uh, the second page of my aspiration. Who the fuck are you? I'm wealthy. Very wealthy. Just last month I bought Social Bunny and Cupid's Corner. Just straight up bought them. You caught my eye and I was hoping to get the chance to meet you in person. I know it's a lot to ask, but I have gifts for you. What do you say? Perhaps. Perhaps. I would send a limo, but I'm kind of a cheapskate. I'll be waiting at... Uh... Okay, alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave him there. I'm gonna stand him up. Just for being so full of himself, you know? Hey! Melody performed impeccably. We've been promoted to receptionist. Perfect. Beautiful. Right, I think I know enough people now to host a potluck. Actually, if I remember correctly, can't you just invite as many people as you want to a potluck? So I didn't even need to go and introduce myself. Right, create a social event. Neighbourhood potluck. We shall host. That guy that called me was married. What a scumbag. Right, we'll invite Nyan, Bella. No, we'll just invite everyone that we know. And we'll have it at home. There we go. I will come and thank Alex for coming. Thanks very much. Should I be serving something or? Nah. I'm the host, you know, I'm giving everyone a space. Right, where's the potluck food, guys? Oh, outside. Okay, perfect. I'll come and call to meal. Thank some guests for coming. And then we'll dig in. Should be able to get gold pretty easily. I think I think the neighbourhood potluck is quite an easy one to achieve, so I'm not too worried. So many people we know. I don't remember making this many friends. Already in silver, and we've only been going for like a couple of minutes. Okay, let's do a little bit of a uh, little bit of gossip. I notice we're just standing still, swaying from side to side, so that's not ideal, is it? Hmm. My sim seems to have completely frozen. You okay? You all right? She's not moving at all. I mean, even if I reset her, nothing seems to be happening. Not a great sign. First glitch of the playthrough. Okay, can I maybe, um, can I maybe have like a sibling do this on my behalf? Why is she just standing there like a fucking statue? Why are you doing this? Are you all frozen? My, uh, uh, are you seriously telling me? Okay, she isn't frozen. What about you? Are you frozen? No. Okay. So two of my sims are completely frozen. Well, that's a glitch and a half, isn't it? Okay, let's see if I can perform oh, some of these with Is my that... other sims. Oh, these siblings are very close. Is there anything I can do? Okay, what if I what if I just go into create a sim? and then come back. Will that, like, fix this? What's, what, what is the problem here? It's definitely not a mod conflict because I have everything disabled right now. Okay, are we back to normal now? Yes. Okay. That was a bit strange, wasn't it? Okay, we are almost, almost in gold. 
Okay, so mum's got a little boyfriend, so you two, they're gonna have a little woohoo sesh. I would like there to be a death in this video, so I plan, hopefully, elders can still die from woohooing twice in a row. Otherwise, that's put my plan up shit creek. It's a nice, straightforward death, I feel. Oh, we've made some progress. Right, I'm, I'm just gonna have you, hold up, hold up. Can I just get you to um, woohoo again? Woohoo again. Yeah, we're now finding purpose. Look at that, we've made progress in our soul's journey. And we've got an empty space now for another goal. Okay, so I guess it's just unlimited goals until you get to a point where you become a ghost. I've got a new mood buff. Scratch that one off the bucket list. Wow, it really feels good to knock off one of those bucket list items. Who could have guessed achieving a lifelong goal would be so fulfilling? Also, meeting a wealthy weirdo. What has Melody gotten into? A wealthy weirdo calls and wants to meet in person. That's funny. Oh, maybe we're not gonna die from overexertion. She didn't have the mood buff to be like, you know, getting tired. Really? Woohoo again, do it again. Well, I don't think she's gonna die from overexertion. So I might have to go back to the drawing board and figure out how to kill mum. I was kind of hoping to have a funeral, but I guess we'll do that in the next video. But for now, I think I will leave it there. I feel like I haven't really done much, but that's just because there are so many features in this pack that I feel like I've kind of barely scratched the surface, but we have done a fair bit. We've done the first page of our aspiration. We achieved our bucket list goal. We completed Alice's quest. We made some friends. We hosted a potluck. We've done a couple of days on in the new active career, got ourselves a promotion. I think we've seen most of what the neighborhood has to offer. Haven't been to many of the festivals, but I guess as we play through the weeks, they'll just pop up and we'll be able to do those. But yeah, as far as first impressions go, this is probably the most optimistic I've been with an expansion pack about the amount of gameplay, which is definitely a good sign. Not too sure what happened uh, with the glitching there, with the potluck. I mean, I was able to fix it in a pretty straightforward way, but not something you really want. The trouble is, because these expansion packs come out as soon as the update comes out, it's hard to tell what glitches have come from the update and which ones have come with the pack. But there we go. That's my initial playthrough, and then we will be back with Melody for the next video, where we'll progress even further in our career. We'll have a funeral. We'll go through Mum's will. Hopefully we'll experience one of the four grief stages. We'll go in the um, glistening water, see if we can become a ghost. There's still so much more to do. So much more tarot cards to collect. We'll become a ghost at some point, and then try and unlock some ghostly powers. Yeah, but on that note, I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>